Hi, this is Steve Rowe and welcome to my very first episode of Axe to Grind. Today I'm going to be talking about grit. Please note from the start that these are my perspectives and it is important for all of you to search through the Bible to see what God is saying to you. There are worldwide studies currently being done in schools in the Western world that indicate that those who do best have grit and determination, not those with the highest IQ. I have grown up in a family that all have lived life with grit, determination and vision. My wife Kate has grit and vision and my 19 year old son inspires me with his grit and vision which means he excels in university and in his chosen sporting endeavours. So today I'll be looking at grit that is inspired and fueled by a passion to reach the pre-saved for Jesus. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 says whatever your hand finds to do do it with all of your might one of my favorite scriptures proverbs 9 verse 18 in the king james bible states where there is no vision people perish i believe the number one thing that got me through unsurvivable unbeatable cancer was my vision to reach the pre-saved with the salvation message of Jesus through Jesus metal music. I really do not like the words non-Christian, so let's view these people as pre-saved. I'm inspired by visionaries who have grit, endurance, vision and determination. My heroes of the faith are Glenn Kayser and Ulf Christensen. It was through the Jesus rock music of Resurrection Band and Jerusalem that I came back to my full faith in Jesus and made a decision. Now it is important for all of us to make a decision in our life as Christians as to how we are going to bear fruit in our lives for the Kingdom of God. So for me, no matter what the cost, with God's help I would reach the world's pre-saved metal scene with the Gospel of Jesus. Through everything that has blocked my path, I have gone through this 150% for the past 31 years with grit. The great thing about my two heroes of the faith is that both are still working towards leading people to Jesus. And after 43 years, Glenn Kayser is still playing Jesus music and is still bearing fruit. John 15 says, and this is Jesus speaking, and it's very important for us to hear what this scripture says. It says, I am the vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that does not bear fruit. But every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that's the stuff in life often that hurts. But when he prunes us, that is so we will be able to bear even more fruit. But we have to be obedient, be prepared to have God cut us back a little bit so that we can bear more fruit. I am not a gifted musician. I see myself more as an artist and I'm inspired by art artists. I'm certainly far away from being the world's best bass player, but I have emulated the grit of others, other music artists who inspire me because they have incredible, unique metal rock art. From their grit, they have succeeded. An eternal belief that they will create unique art and yet, most of the people that I follow in music are not musicians, they are artists. 
something interesting to think about there. So combine grit with the Christian faith and an idea to present art can bear great fruit for the kingdom of God. Having grit, having grit and determination as a Christian is never about success. It is never about power, it is never about position, and never about self-glory. It is about doing whatever you can with undivided determination to reach the heart of the pre-saved. For me that has meant a life of faith because there ain't no big bank accounts for true Jesus rock bands. Philippians 4 verse 19 says and my God will provide all of my needs according to his riches in glory so as I have followed him through the last 31 years of playing Jesus medal he has always provided for me even when there seems like there's nothing there so I'll leave you with this thought leaving a legacy of people saved through a determined vision is better than leaving personal stuff behind that moth and rust will eventually destroy. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time. God bless.